Nick Cobalt, very important trace element. Very important. Traditionally um, known as bush sickness. Um, it's a, a problem that traditionally actually affected central areas of the North Island very, very badly. To Volcanic such a, areas. Yes, yeah, very new soils, so very low cobalt levels and um, yeah, very unavailable to the plant T to such a degree that actually for many years the central North Island, the, the volcanic plateau area was deemed to be unfarmable as far as livestock went. That, that's why all these pine trees went up. Um, so unlike other trace elements, the good thing about cobalt is it's not, it's not toxic. So it's usually bound up in a B vitamin, cobalamine, B12. Uh, and that, um, that, that just, if there's excesses of that, it just gets uh, lost in urine. So it's very non-toxic, which takes a lot of pressure off, um, especially on the back of what we've talked about in the last couple of sessions on selenium and copper, which are both actually exceptionally toxic if given to excess. Um, so typically, cobalt deficient animals, what we see are purely just poor growth rates. The, the element is needed uh, in the process of providing nu nutrients to, to cells. So when we're laying down rapidly muscle and, and fat and bone tissue, cobalt's intimately associated with that. So I guess by inference, one can uh, imagine that it's a very, very important uh, trace element in growing animals and that's exactly where the problems are seen. So uh, lambs in particular exceptionally uh, exceptionally important to get cobalt levels right and next in line calves and then adult sheep and then cattle in, in that, that order really. Um, so typically it's given um, in recent years as an injectable formulation at the time of weaning and various drug companies have taken advantage of that uh, targeted approach if you like mm -hmm. and combined the element um, with vaccine so quite often um, we'll see five in one vaccine that has cobalt um, and selenium added and that way uh, farmers, sheep, lamb, lamb producing farmers in particular can target that and at weaning give the lamb its consolidating or second injection of five in one vaccine and at the same time uh, administer the selenium and cobalt content that's required. Quite often you've talked about these trace elements and said that you can overdose and that can cause deaths as well. Is, is cobalt overdosable? No, so as I just mentioned, cobalt is non-toxic and that's mainly because the bulk of the element is tied up in a B vitamin. B vitamins are, are called that, are called such. All the B vitamins are water soluble and so excesses of them are just lost in urine. So very, very safe and unlikely to, to cause many problems. Um, yeah, so, so I guess toxicity is not an issue with cobalt, which is great. And the other benefit with that is that um, it appears that whether or not there's a deficiency situation, there does often with cobalamine, the, the, uh, the vitamin that contains the cobalt, and that's usually the form that it's administered in, in injection anyway, um, has a appetite stimulant effect. And so um, it's, it's another reason why at weaning it's a great time to target uh, this application by injection because of course it, it helps mitigate the growth reduction. Growth rate reduction is often associated with the stressful time of weaning. So administering it by injection at weaning is a fantastic time and very opportune time to administer the product by injection. Do you test for cobalt deficiency? You do. So cobalt levels can be obtained uh, just simply by getting blood tests for B12 and we often will do that. We'll sample an appropriate number of animals from an, an appropriate stock class, be it age or, or lactational status or whatever, um, and just obtain B12 levels. If there's a monitoring system ongoing on farm when it comes to cull cows or through the slaughterhouse, we can um, ask for liver samples to be obtained and often we can check for B12 or cobalt levels in conjunction with other trace elements such as selenium and copper. So for instance as part of a, an on-farm trace element monitoring system cobalt can be bought into that um, and that's better done under the guidance of a veterinarian who's, uh, who's better 
place to understand sample sizes and the sort of statistical variances that we see in animals so that the right interpretation and the right advice can be given. Nick, thank you very much indeed. You're